Boom, 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 boom. Idle camera. Turn it off. Welcome back. All right, so let's talk to Thancred. Good news, Eskos. It would seem Reen is in, indeed able to reverse the effects of Arthur's influence. Even as we speak, she tends to the afflicted in turn. The problem being, there's no end to them. We're trying to provide what relief we can to those who are waiting, and we would appreciate your help if you will. Not really. Don't want to, but I suppose I have to. Now I can do two to three is writing you more. So here's some dream powder. Uh, we're administering it to the enthralled to keep them calm until they receive proper attention. I would appreciate if you would assist with this task. Now those afflicted are scattered all over the city. I suggest starting to search. We're starting to search at the derelicts and working our way up. When you're done, be sure to let Reed know. First things first. Into the eighth or eight. No, there we can. All right. Mm, let's see, Durelix. He said Durelix, and that was labeled as Durelix. That's right, we're still technically in the city. Oh, I should have gone to about, like, 12 plots. Oh. Lord Valthry, you are my daily mule. Up the stairs it is. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's lag. Well, it hurts. Please, Lord Valtteri, take the pain away. I can tell because the sound goes away. Oh, I heard some sound. Well, the console saved me from falling to my death. My mistress, she's been injured. Please, help her. I beg you. You see. Oh. Well, what is this? She's sleeping. Medicine to help us sleep while she waits treatment. There. Oh, thank you so much. When she began acting strangely, I didn't know what to do. Like this metallic paint they have on. I wonder if they enjoy that. They like that. Or if that was just one of Vothry's weird things. Okay, not up here. Not out here. Yay, leg.
Wait, was I here? Or maybe it's just not showing up because I've got lag. Oh, hey, this is there. See people. Oh, there we go. Reese's. Most stuff. First buffs. Settling. Paradise. Where did you fly to, my sweet canary? I was the one who killed his songstrit servant. He ended up being, you know, he was fine. You jerk. If you cannot service me, I will have you go deceased and go to somewhere else. Of course, it's a paradise because that's what he thought. He's great. Just finish eating this man now for the next one. Are you okay? Are you too tired? More on the Terrellics below, you say? So many of them. But Menphilia entrusted this power to me. I won't rest until I've helped her. Uh, be careful. Uh, I can go see to the wounded. I'm sure Alpha and Alize would appreciate the help. And would you find some other... And should you find other enthralled civilians, please say that they're brought to me. Uh, I don't think there's the... We'll be ready for it. We're going to be all right. I think that's the last of them. We've done all we can for the wounded. As for the rest... No, the painter boy. What in the world is going on? Did something happen to us? Let me handle this. Citizens of Yulmore, what I'm about to tell you will come as a shock. Indeed, you may be loath to believe it, but if you trust the evidence of your senses, it is my hope that you will listen and accept the truth, unpalatable though it may be. Vortri is a sin eater. Everything he offered, everything he promised, was a lie. Exposition. They're not taking it well, and who could blame them? Are you saying we were Forthry's puppets all this time? When you attacked us, you were not yourselves. That much is true. But your conduct prior to that moment was your own. Voltra's unnatural charisma does not absolve you of all responsibility. Of your own free will, you came to the city and gave yourselves over to its pleasures. And in the course of this, if you mistreated those less fortunate than you, then that too was of your own free will. This is not for me to judge you but for your victims, for history, for your conscience. You have dreamed a twisted dream, but now you are awake. 
you may yet share this world of ours. Join with us and each other that we might begin anew. We've lost so many already. We dare not lose any more. I have said my piece. My thanks for giving me the chance. There is nothing more to be done here. Let us go after Vor 3. Is there anything we can do to help? You risked your lives to bring us to our senses, and I for one hope to repay that debt. Begin anew, as you said. Vor 3 has fled to Mount Gulg, and we mean to pursue him. Do any of you know the way? The only way to Mount Gulg is over the Bright Cliff. Have you an airship? We will contemplate flight only as a last resort. Were we to come under attack whilst airborne, we would have little hope of defending ourselves. If at all possible, we would prefer to travel by land. Is there a way? Well, the ladder is the only way up and down the cliff, but it hasn't moved in a long time. In the old days, it was operated by the mining folk who lived at the top. But after the flood, it saw less and less use, and when Lord Vorthry took control, it was abandoned altogether. So we somehow need to get the ladder working again. It moves by means of a talos, if that's any help. But good luck repairing that. Talos? Did someone say Talos? You know all about them, don't you, dearest? If anyone can get this lift moving, it's you! Um, well, perhaps. But, but, but see here. Oh, yes. If you want the golem restored, you may leave it to my husband. For he happens to be the heir to Daedalus Stoneworks, foremost makers of Talos, whose contracts include the renowned mining venture of Armoreng. It's... well, it's been years and years since I had anything to do with it. I, I can't just pick up a hammer and set to work. You... you can't. No, that, that, that's not what I... It's just... Uh... <laughs> All right. I will take a look at the Talos. But beyond that, I make no promises. Those with strong backs, come with me. I'll need help dragging the damn thing out of the storehouse. Well done, brother. Are you just gonna stay in there? Go. No. Come, my friend. We have work to do. We had some lag there. I <laughs> didn't see him. The ladder is situated to the north, so much right. Let us make our way there, I suppose. Uh, right. Not, not saying. I knew it was going to write, but right, that's where I need to go.
Either that or I'm just trying to be funny and it wasn't working so well, but you know, whatever. One thing I don't like about these maps is that it's hard to see the uh, paths. They are there, but they're very faint. I'm right in front of that rail and... Let's go. Dost thou see yonder pair of talos? For a blessing, they were found to be in good repair. Master Chai prepareth to activate them as we speak. With our arcane knowledge, Yashtola and I will serve as his assistants. At the appointed hour, we shall imbue the golems with ether. Others, meanwhile, attend to the latter itself, which hath too long been neg 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 neglected. Extensive maintenance will be needed ere it can move again, as well as myriad materials of which to perform it. If thou art willing, we would prevail upon thee to procure lumber. Count on me. I am a botanist. Uh, I'm actually a relatively new botanist, so, but I'm nowhere near the level here, so I can't really do it, but, you know, I, I can help. My thanks, let's go directly to the south. Oh, south, thou wilt find a dry dock, then mount yards. Pray see thou canst, canst persuade the folk there to part with some lumber for our dog. So, let's see here. Let me let me check a few things. Let's see, right, uh, Gate Town. Oh, I only have two quests. I think are these two. And then the MSQ quest. Okay. We got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. I know exactly where to find each of the... There it is. Now it aggroes me. This is so weird. I don't care. I'm going to continue. I'm going to outrun it, but. So here's the other thing is mount speed, like just land mount speed to get the, the boost. You have to have done like a shit ton of baits. <laughs> or do it. Oh there, Scissor. Haven't seen you around uh, you around that before. Due to gate town, I take it. We need lumber for a shack here and come to the right place. If you can do the building for for you too. We could do the building for two, though that'll be enough cost. Want well, lumber to restore the ladder. Why in the world would anyone want to do that? If you don't have the coin, least you could do is come up with a believable excuse. But look, I'm not one to turn away folk. I'll give you your lumber if you do me a favor in return. If you just finished uh, taking stock of our supply and was about to do another round of it a good measure, I want you to do the counting instead, and we'll see if uh, your total matches mine. Okay, I'm going to do something quickly here. Open a spreadsheet. Here, I'll lend you some reading materials so you can take notes. 
Take stock of the supply of lumber in the yard. What you learn can be reviewed in your key items. Meh, take it stock for Irrit. Uh, ye. Well, I last counted it. So, 80, 68 plinks in the storehouse. 68. None of those were rotted, though. Nine of those were rotted, though. So, we tossed them out. Hmm. Oi! Grithel! Another load just arrived. 13 planks all told, but one's damaged. It's only good for kindling now. 12? All right, then. Bring the good ones here and be sure to, to let Irvith <laughs> know. Irvith know as well. I'm going to just not worry about these voice. voices. I'm getting confused about <laughs> which voices I get. Or how many planks does that make now? Oh, you're writing down these numbers anyways, right? I'm sure you can work it out. You got down the details of the conversation. <laughs> okay. The key items. This is, uh, but, <sighs> I'm trying to view the lumber note. Why can't I view the lumber note? Oh, I just the mouse over it. Sixty-eight in storehouse, nine discarded, thirteen delivered, one damaged. Right. Okay. Little lumber stack. Count okay, eleven planks in the stack. Okay, eleven. Another stack on the other side of the ship. No. Here's this other stack. Is it upstairs? There it is. Twenty four. All right. Hundred and six. Sixty eight minus nine plus twelve plus eleven plus twenty four. Where the numbers come from? Done. All right. So, so I'm in Punxy account. One hundred and six. Ah, that's exactly what I counted. Yeah, thanks for your help, Fred. Taking stock fair, stock fair puts me to sleep, but it has to be done. As promised, I'll give you your lumber. What do you need it for anyway? And we're fixing the ladder. I told you this before. You're serious about the ladder? I'll be damned. If that's the case, please let us help with the work. Your shipwrights with no ship to build, only shacks. Because while it's a living, we all itch to do something greater. This fellow you say is in charge, you reckon he'd mind the likes of us barging into his product project? Eh, you won't mind. <laughs> Wonderful! I'll round up the lads and lasses and we'll head over to the ladder, along with all the lumber you need. So, pro tip on that one. <laughs> One, the answer is 106. I'm not sure if it's always 106, but it's 106. It could be one of those things where every time you do it, it's like slightly different numbers. And as long as in the end it all adds up to one of those numbers on that big long list, <laughs> that's the variables. 
So nobody gets, can can do do a match of the answer. Ah, thou art return. Wert thou able to procure the lumber? Well, well, to secure not only the material, but the eager cooperation of the shipwrights besides this expert, their expertise shall greatly veil our efforts. Master Chai's own efforts have not been without struggle, but he hath proved himself to be a determined soul. I doubt not, but that the work shall be complete ere long. We may continue on our way once more. Though it hath been years in the making, at long last do the people stand united in defiance of the world's fate, their hopes spurred, spurring us on, ever onward toward journey's end. Whatever so, whatsoever may avail us when thou takest those final steps, I pray that it shall be with a smile upon thy face. Ah, but prematurely do I give myself in this, to sentimental musings. Many more pressing concerns demand our attention, not the least of which is the matter of how we might reach the mountain, detached from the land as it is. From the present, it would appear we have matters here well, here well in hand. Perhaps thou shouldst take us thine ease for a time. Thou wilt need every alms of thy strength for the trials ahead. I wonder if I could just sit. This guy, like, okay, I'll just wait right here. Nope, it makes me sand as soon as I hit destination. I just sit and like lean up against and just kind of like wait it out. Like, oh, I'm bored. <laughs> Maybe do some air boxing. described as manual labor. Who would have thought it possible? Oh, it's you. I thought you didn't really Do like you know this light of the most plans? reliable way to deal with those who stubbornly refuse to see reason? You conquer them, crush them under heel. Such was the trusted method of Alec, and one steel favored by Garlemald. Yeah, see how that's going? But conquest is the easy part. The true challenge begins once the dust has settled, quenching the glowing embers of animosity and maintaining a semblance of peace. This requires the conqueror to treat the conquered with dignity and the conquered to let bygones be bygones. A difficult feat to achieve. Which, which is the reason why conquering is just a bad idea. But you have achieved just that, to my considerable surprise. It's a compliment. Take it. You're really bad at giving compliments, my new. <laughs> ah, the vibrant energy that fills the air when like minded souls gather. To think back on that time before time. Fair brings a tear to the eye. What? You thought ancient beings like us incapable of crying? Well, rest assured that if your heart can be broken, then so can mine. Back 
When the world was whole, we had family, friends, loves. Men knew peace and contentment, and with our adamant souls, we could live for an age. There was no conflict born of want or disparity. Our differences paled into insignificance next to all we had in common. And then there was Amarant. Never was a city more magnificent. From the humblest streets to the highest spires, she fairly gleamed. Not that you would remember any of this. Remember? Never mind. The point is, the world of old was a far better place than what we have now. I believe you would like it, having witnessed the things you have. Remember, you are of the source. Unlike the half-men here, you stand only to gain. Should you survive the remaining calamities, you will become our equal. A complete existence in a complete world. But such talk is a pleasure for later. Back to work, hero. Ah, there was one thing I had meant to ask. How well do you know the Exarch? Has he ever deigned to show you what hides beneath the cow? What? Never? Even to you? How very interesting. I shall enjoy working out what it means. Until next time. All I know is something tells me seems to be a good guy. I mean, he brought the crystal power here. Spectacular. I never doubted you for a moment. It's alive. I don't know if you remember, but when we first met in this world, I was all but spent. I never thought to wonder why until now. I think it all just got to be too much. The guilt of causing the flood, knowing everyone hated me, but the worst thing was the solitude. Time wears you down, I. But solitude eats away at you. It was this close to finishing me off. But as bad as it got, and as empty as I felt, I can't even begin to imagine what it must be like for Emmett Silk. All of which is a long way of saying, don't make a choice that leaves you alone. Nothing is worth that, especially not eternity. Glad tidings, my friend. The ladder lives again. The three of us have been invited to do the honors. Are you up for it? Of course, if you're worried that the whole thing might come crashing down, we can always find someone else. Thanks for the dad. That's jokes. the spirit. Anyway. Come on then. We rode the ladder too, my comrades and I. Once upon a time. Watch the horizon grow. 
and the town shrink below us. Awed and terrified in equal measure, we ascended without a word, the silence broken only by the rhythm of the gears. No one but me remembers that day. We invited our invisible friend to join us walk <laughs> up the ladder. Remembers our journey and our end. Retread the path. Seek and you may yet find. Somebody must have noticed me beckoning Ardbert to come onto the, the ladder. And here we are finally at Top Rock. The others should arrive there long. Alphano, Essigos, come up here. There's something I need, to, need you to see. What could this be about? That guy took me the wrong way, but... I ended up getting a, uh, sightsee. Don't stand on top, Alize! <laughs> it's Fiddler Jessica's over to the northeast. But there it is. Yet, after two decades without the ladder in operation, would not be surprised if such an isolated settlement has long been since been abandoned. No, I. But that was before us find someone leave it and proceed to head to another direction, all the while trying to remain unseen. Whoever that mysterious person is, they should still be out there. Go on and take a look, Eskos. He didn't move out of my way so I could click on Alize, he just moved over to this destination. Our painter friend. That's a shoe bill. Oh, there he is. We've located the mysterious person. However, it seems that he's likewise spotted you and hurriedly turns back to the village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's someone right. There's someone right. And they were spying on us. Personally, I don't feel comfortable not knowing who they are. What do you say we investigate? I'm kind of curious too, I must admit. I dare say we have a bit of time as the others send. Settled then. Let's head to the village and see if it's indeed inhabited. Keep forgetting there's this polar bear bound I need to get. 
I want to stop and do that, but I have priorities when I'm streaming. I don't remember correctly. Rogue, tell us. Uldu. Hello. You're feeling sounds inside the building, however, the drawer refuses to budge. Okay. Half empty. The cups are half empty or half full, depending on how you see such things. Behind the counter, a kettle bubbles steadily over the stove. Also, may must be here. Well, it's been hung out to dry in the sun, and despite, and quite recently by the reckoning. What news, Eskos? Were you able to find anything of note? Uh. People are definitely still living here. Indeed. While there's no one to be seen, it's plain this village is anything but abandoned. The villagers are trying to conceal themselves, so doing a rather poor job of it, but they don't wish to be seen. What do we do? I say, aren't you the ones who saved my life? All right. It's Tristel, the artist from Yulmore. You remembered. Ever since we parted broke bro ways, I worried for you, bound for the city as you were. Never did I imagine that we'd meet again, and here of all places. I could say the same the same thing to you, my friend. I'm glad to see you hail and whole. Tell me, what is this village? This is Amnity, a settlement made up of those who survived being exiled from Yulmore. As I wandered the wilds, I crossed to pa a chance to cross the path with the inhabitant of these parts. He took me through a secret tunnel which led to the top of the bright cliff. I have been here ever since. Life is hard, but we know a semblance of peace. Well, we did at any rate until Mount Goog broke away from the earth. Then just all, just a sudden, the letters started moving again. And you feared whoever was coming up would threaten your lives? Aye. But I see now there's no cause for concern. Will you tell me what has brought you here? Exposition! So Vathri is a sin eater. And he fled to Mount Goog. "'Tis a strange tale, but I have no reason to doubt your words. Hey, you my life. If there's anything I could do to help, you need but say the word. Your help would be most welcome, Tristel. 
To begin with, we've requested per people's permission to reconnoiter the area. If we are to confront Rothery, we must find a way to reach Mount Gulg. Of course, you hardly need our permission to be here. I will tell the others about you and yours. Now, we haven't much to offer in the way of hospitality, but our village is at your disposal. Please use it as you see fit for any quests. Yay! I got a weapons coffer. Yet another hapless soul that Alphano saved from mortal danger, I see. Some things never change. At any rate, I, it seems that that brother has a mind to linger. Meanwhile, I have a mind for us to explore. Eskos and I are going to scout out the area. We'll be back in a well, little while. Oh, very well. Then, just take care out there. Yeah, all this, like, diplomatic stuff is kind of boring. <sighs> all right, while we're exploring here, I need a little map. Where are we on the map? Oh, I... In the thing. We can aim to meet at the foot of the mountain and take note of what you see along the way in a short while then. Says, let's split up. I'm going to take one way, you take the other. I just want to see something quickly. I think. Where am I? 19th? I will tell you one thing, an advantage of being a Lalafell is that when you are at slow speed on your mount, you don't feel that way. Well, I hope been waiting for an Elmore Porter. I came here for the eighth right. Nothing more. Not the way it was supposed to go, anyways.
Right, I'm gonna help this white mage out. And the white beige helps me out. Quite a few sin eaters out there. Yeah, I got a few too. I also saw this like you too, village then. of Lollafell. It seems the closer we get to Mount Gulg, the more of them there are. What the the Lollafells? Oh, the sin eaters. I'm sorry. Like Lollafells with helmets. Actually, I didn't mean Gil. What is the dwarf? Looks a lot bigger from here, doesn't it? If I were Vorthry, the first thing I'd do is surround myself with as many Sin Eaters as I could lay my hands on. And judging by the number we've already faced, his Lordship is of the same mind. This is going to be a tough climb. But first things first. We need to determine if climbing is even an option. The more I look, the less likely it seems. Ishtola is right to be worried. But flying may be our only choice after all. There you are. Master Alphano was afeard you had met with some misfortune. And you too, Exarch. What brings you here? <coughs> I wish to observe the final struggle with my own eyes. I arrived at Bottom Rung too late to accompany you, but I was in time to join Urianger and the others. Come, let us see how this unfolds. The elegant probes. Holy metal. Seems flying is off the table. If we have learned that much, then the Machina have served their purpose. Ah, oh, so that's what they were for. Wasteful, but effective. It would seem our foe will not be reached by land or air. We must needs withdraw to consider another course. Master Alphano waiteth for us at top run. Thither should we make our way.
some reason I feel like more time has passed than has actually passed. I keep looking at the time and being like, I must have been at this for like an hour and a half or so. Didn't expect to see the Chai's here, so I suppose it's well up there, right? Okay, the volume there. Alright, the music. <laughs> At any rate, it's time to tackle our next obstacle, finding a way to reach the Mount Gorg. For this, we would need to put all our heads together. Cool. You know what? Hold on. There's Fire back. It's still awkward holding, but uh, we'll go with it. Here's what we found. We might consider Amaro, but without extensive training, we cannot hope to contend with the Eaters. Yulmore's airship fleet, meanwhile, consists solely of transport vessels ill-suited for battle. And without the expertise of one such as Sid, we are in no position to attempt a refit. Frustrating! That wretched mountain should jolly well come back down to us! Now, now, dearest, we mustn't disturb these good people at their work. We've ridden the ladder and seen the sights. It's past time we took our leave. The lady may well have the right of it. Mount Gulg will not soon come down to Earth, nor can we compel it to do so. But if the mountain will not come to the land, mayhap the land may be made to come to the mountain. In the form of a Talos. A Talos large enough to reach out and take the volcano in its grasp. To build such a golem would be an onerous undertaking indeed. Yet the principle seemeth sound in itself. Boulder Dash! No one has ever made one even half that size. Leaving aside the small matter of logistics, which, by the way, would be no small matter, the design would be unimaginably complex. Though, I suppose, if its only function is to cling to the ruddy mountain, perhaps it needn't be. Solid base, firmly rooted to the ground, sacrifice mobility to simplify the construction, reducing materials required, Wait, 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 what am I thinking? We would still need a veritable army of people to do the work. Left to the crew that helped down below, it would take decades, if not a nice round century. So we need more hands. And what sort of things would these hands be required to do? Oh, uh, well, uh, well, let's see. First, we'd need people to procure the stone for the chassis. 
the rock found near the mountain would suit our purposes well enough. It'd be a simple task to quarry the stuff, but given the stupendous quantity required, we'd need all the help we can get. We have friends amongst the miners of Armoring. I will go and petition their aid. While you do that, I'll make for Maud Souk. I'm sure I'll be able to drum up some support. Then I shall return to Calusia. From fishers to carpenters, Yulmore is home to all manner of talented folk. I dare say their skills will avail us. Is there anything else you need? <laughs> Well, yes, actually. Magic. Lots of the stuff, as much as possible. To awaken a talus of this size would require an entire congregation of mages. Many among the Knights Blessed are gifted in the arcane arts. I will recruit them to our cause. The Fey Folk, too, possess surpassing aptitude in magics. Yet they are not wont to cooperate in the endeavors of men. Leastwise, not without making all manner of mischief. That being the case, I would instead call upon the people of the Crystarium, with thy permission, Exarch. We are at your disposal, as are our Amaro and Chocobos. I'm sorry. You mean to tell me you can call on not only the people of Yulmore and the Crystarium, but the Knights Blessed and the Maud, and even those miners? But that's just about everyone in... Bally Norvrat! Who are you, people? And how did you come to have so many friends? Ego. Ego! This is all about ego! Yeah, but this is the saviors of the world. Saviors of the world? Are you being serious? Oh, gosh, you are. <laughs> so, as you can see, you will not want for bodies. I trust you will have your design ready in good time for their arrival. Norvrant is counting on you, heir to Daedalus Stoneworks. <laughs> we'll be back as soon as we can, and we'll bring the whole world with us. Even though currently the whole world is just this, this one continent. <laughs> I take it we will be assisting Master Chai. Though I am quite sure he has everything under control. <laughs> I mean, with his wife coercing him into it. But the design ready, she says. Good time, she says. She even understand what's involved. Before I even attempt to design anything, I need intimate knowledge of the land, the knowledge of the locals. Last I heard, no one lives here. Oh well, here's the dwarves. What? Village of Yamor in excellence. But, but, but those people have every reason to live with these citizens like me. They couldn't possibly be willing to cooperate. Oh, this will never work. Never. I never should have fixed that ruddy lift. Never should have ridden up here. Never should have. Never should have. Uh, oh dear, Dudley appears to have lost the plot. But he has it in him, Askers. He's the cleverest man I know. He just wants to confidence. Wants for confidence sometimes. If you were to give him some words of encouragement, I'm sure he could do you your talents. A bit of advice I learned from his mother. He responds poorly to obvious praise. We need to find another way to soak the fires of his motivation. And awaken his sense of daring. 
hard to succeed. You must lift his spirit sufficiently <laughs> during the conversation. Okay, shit. Wait, <laughs> what quest is this? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Before I do anything. Okay, what's this? Okay, definitely not there. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I think it's this one. Very cool. Yep, this is it. Okay. China's is plagued with self-doubt. I can't do it. No one can. The talus of that size, no one's ever dreamed of it. Dulia is counting on you as well. I know, I know, we'd hardly need to tell me that. Do you think I'd disappoint her if I could help it? She's still plagued with self-doubt. But regardless of my own freeze, yeah, I can't do a bit damn thing without help from those villagers. And then and they're not barely likely to uh, barely likely to, to give it. Tristel's among them, you said to so yourself, lest you've forgotten, I essentially sent him to his death, and even if the others don't bear a personal grudge, he would never forgive us. Things are improved by themselves. You have to take the first step. I know, I know. Well, unless you take, we take the first step, there will never be reconciliation. There's a chance for everyone to come together, even if they hurled stones at me. Perhaps it's worth trying to apo trying to apologize. Eh, it still harbors some misgivings. But what then? In the in the end, it's not even a question of forgiveness. Building such an enormous talus is impossible, and no amount of con contrition will change that. And even if, by some miracle, the people of Amity are willing to let bygones be bygones, they think the plan is absurd. I think it's absurd. We liberated a castle with a strategy that many would call absurd. Well, now, to float the very castle we sought to you sought to reclaim, such a strategy would indeed be considered said, yet you succeeded not uh, in spite of, but because of it. Our own strategy may likewise seem absurd, but maybe, maybe it stands a better chance of success for it. He is feeling somewhat optimistic. But be that as it may, there are risks to consider should the venture fail. I imagine for a moment that you failed to, failed to reach Valthry and they only succeed in provoking him. Miss Fury, you might dwell in Leisha's hordes of eaters. It won't be to that. Ah, I'll protect you. I'll protect everyone. It's going to be fine. <gasps> I see what you did there. That's how you win over the masses. With the irrepressible aura of dependability. And very well, you made your conviction clear, and I'm assured, in spite of myself, I won't let my fears get the better of me. It's unseemly, if, it's unseemly, if nothing else. China's is buzzing with motivation. <laughs> Duty complete. Yes, yes, by the gods, I can do this. I just need to have a little faith in myself. I love Duella and Dulia. Right. Let's head to Amnity and speak with the villagers. Tristel. My love, things are liable to become more dangerous. I want you to wait for me back in your moor. No. Wherever you go, I'm going too. Besides, you're not the only one who has to apologize. But... There's no telling what will happen out there. I don't know if I can keep you safe. Perhaps this is a bad idea, after all. I don't think I have what it takes.
Message high, that you are beset with doubt is proof that you, you can envision the task ahead. But that which, me, which man can envision, he can make reality. Thus did some old friends of mine once say. Even should it be a feat fit for the divine, if something has been done before, for it is most assuredly be done again by our own hands. That's very idealistic, don't you think? <laughs> Mass perhaps a message high, perhaps. But what is man if not an idealistic creature? Tis not an easy thing to achieve one's dreams. My friends can attest to that. Countless times they meet with frustration in the course of their endeavors. None would have fought, found fought, fault with them had they given up, but they never did. One step after the next, they forged on towards their goals. And for their determination, they accompanied numerous feats that many believe lay beyond the reach of mankind. Like them, you are a man of science. Amidst your doubt, surely there is a spark of desire, the desire to make the impossible possible. Come, darling, like the old days, I would be the first to see your talus. And you shall be, my dear. I would have none other at my side when my greatest masterpiece awakens. Right then, to amnity. I'm glad my words struck a chord, shall we? Who are you, Exarch? I will tell you this, the first time I saw the crystal Exarch, I had suspicions about who he was. It was the first time I actually, it was actually when I saw the Shadowbringers trailer. Before I even got to Shadowbringers and saw all these the stuff, I had an idea of who it might be. Hold on a second. Ah. Two more and a couple of quests which haven't unlocked yet. You. you have every right to be angry with us, but please listen to what I have to say. I was tasked with delivering these people to Mount Gug by means of a talus of here, heretofore unseen proportions. However, I cannot do this without the cooperation of those with intimate knowledge of this land. That is, you and your fellow village. Cooperation? After you ignored my desperate plea and cast me out? You had the gall to come here and ask for my cooperation? You have every right to be upset. Arthur is not the only one to blame for your suffering. We are. 
We were free citizens without a care in the world, indifferent to the hardship of others. We didn't know what would become of you, and frankly, we didn't care. But we now know we know now that what, what we did to you, to full many, was wrong. Terribly wrong. No words will suffice to make amends, and I want you to know that we are deeply sorry. I'm not sure how to feel, how I feel. Should I forgive you, hate you? Perhaps it's not even my place to judge. After all, I sought a place in your city. I wanted to be with you. One thing is clear to me. All of that is in the past, and we mustn't let past wrongs stand in the way of a brighter future. And so, I will cooperate with you. Please see, your, please see our friends to Mount Gulg. You have my word. I'll set to work on the design at once. Wouldn't do to have nothing to show the others when they return for help. Make no mistake, this venture is unprecedented in the history of Talos building. Nay, the history of all mankind. And rest assured, the genius of Daedalus Stoneworks will deliver. Yay! Oh, wicked white. Their problem. Well, uh, you see, I've been promised people to procure the stone as well as imbue magic. When I was put to the spot earlier, I thought that that was all we required. Oh, I accidentally clicked through something else. But I forgot about one other important item needed to bring a talos to life. The heart? That's right, the heart. But I'm pleased to see you have some familiarity with us. So while I work on the design, I'll be much obliged if you would see to procuring the ore in which is fashioned the heart. Heart suitable bringing life to shall embrace the very feminine. There's that. Upgrade gear. Oh, that went into inventory. Well, I have too many chess pieces. If you seek material for the talus heart, I know people who may may be able to help. But resist. They are the Tholes, a dwarven family that has long lined this land. No one knows its bounty as well as they. If you ex explain your situation, I'm sure they'll be willing to cooperate indeed. T'was one of them that showed, showed me the secret tunnel to the top of the cliff. You will find the Tholes in their village in the northwest, a place called Tumra. When you arrive, seek an audience with Chief Zamet and... And do not forget to greet him with a hearty lally ho. Meet me to join you, Esco. So I, I would keep my joints limber, and mayhap I can provide some manner of assistance. I'll leave the heart to the two of you, then. The variety of ore doesn't matter, so as long as it's rich with ether. I'll aim to have my design complete by your return. See, this is one of my annoyances when it comes to to um, the one of the things that I thoroughly enjoy in WoW that I can do that I can't do 
in game here in Final Fantasy is the fact that I can transmog my items in the field because I had spent a lot of gold purchasing a mount that had a transmogrifier on on it. So I get a new piece of gear. As long as I'm outside, I pop up the mount, speak to the transmogrifier, and psh, transmog my gear. And don't get me wrong, I could individually just do a uh, cast glamour and select it from here. But when I've put the item into my if when I've already put the item into my um a glamour chest I already put the item into my glamour chest um I can't do that. I have to use the glamour glamour plate. So here's my thoughts about this process here. Is instead of having us put the items into our our chest, our our, our uh, glamour dresser is instead just have the system know what items that we've seen. Because the system should be able to have just like, even if it's just a list of the items that, that we have uh, encountered or become bound to, you know, have certain restrictions to how they would get into this thing and have an interface. So yeah, sure, maybe what we have is we have to have the uh, appropriate uh, have a glamour prism in order to do it when we're out on the field but then just be able to open a glamour the glamour interface and we could select the set or anything that we have a glamour plate but you know i don't know how the systems designs work so really can't say but here's also the other thing i already got the got the etherite for uh tamra so i should be able to just teleport there because i think that's where we went So this is Tomra. Seldom do we see, see the dwarven folk at the Crystarium. To know, to know, be in the present now, be in the presence of so many. I shall enjoy not having to crane my neck for change. Valley ho Your turn. <laughs> ah, Rosie greeting. You've clearly been practicing. Any road, now that we've observed common courtesy, who are you and what happened to your helm? <laughs> At the recommendation of the descendants of Amnity, we have come to seek aid with the Thole family. May we speak with Chief Zamet? Why, yes, you may. I am Chief Zamet, and I bid you welcome to Tamra. If it's the folk of Amnity that sent you here, you must have quite a tale to tell. Come, let's hear it. Exposition. One, I'm not from around here. That's why I don't have a helm. <laughs> well, well, and there I thought the, those below had no fight left in them. Having said that, still, still like you know how to deal with the floating volcano and all them sin eaters, neither. If you're serious about restoring peace to these parts, though, we'll, we'll gladly lend you a hand. Uh, 
However, the kind of warrior se seeks precious to us too. If I let you have it, have it only for you to bungle things up and squander it, it's like no, uh, no amount of ale will wash away my chagrin. First, I need to make sure you're worthy by means of a trial. I, a trial most tricksy, pass down through the line of Thal. And what is this trial? Ahem. <clears throat> Come with me, and I'll t tell you all. Hmm? All right. <laughs> Listen well. As you know, I'm a, we're a mining folk, and in the mining life, danger is a constant companion. So, when we come come of age, each of us must prove our readiness to take to the mines. This we do by undertaking a trial that tests the three traits of all good miners can, can't do without: discernment, diligence, and dexterity. We call it 3D Mine Runner. Now, look at my helm. Mark its features well. You'll be given a slingshot, which you must use to shoot dwarves as wear helms that are different. I've already made the necessary arrangements. When you're ready to take the trial, report to the observer, observer nearby. Best of luck to you. Ali ho you must be the challenger the chief mentioned. I will show you to the rooftop at once. As I'm sure you've been told, the 3D mine runner used a slingshot to shoot them, uh, them as wear the wrong helm. Begin with the spot of practice. Okay. Oh, shooting. Keep it up in the actual trial, eh? Thanks for the trial of true. Let me know when you're ready. Ready for the trial? Right this way. This time, time there'll be them where the right helm. You shoot them, you fail. So look carefully before you let the stone fly. They're also wearing the wrong outfit. Well done, a fine show of discernment and dexterity. Well done, the travelers. Run along back to the chief now and get on with putting an end to all the strangers of late. I skipped a couple things, but that's okay. It wasn't much important. That was some impressive shooting, lad. Consider yourself sa be satisfied. Aye, tis plain you didn't come come this far with luck alone, so I place my faith in you and help you find the ore you seek. Pants! And also I'm level 79. I'm almost level lady. Oh my god! I got my work cut out for me. I need a level... <laughs> I have five levels that I'm going to need to do with... Uh... Here we are. Now I got new pants. We won't talk about that. Anyways, moving on. Did you know that Calusa is rich in sulfur? Well, it is. We've been mining this stuff since ancient times. And every so often, it seems... Those same veins yield what's called earth seed, a rare ore steeped in magic. In the time, time was we used to refine earth seed of this uh, for this and that, but the technique's been lost. The stuff's still out there to be had, though, providing you know where to look, and no place is sure than the Duragarsh tunnel tool. Problem is, the site's occupied by our age-old rivals, the Gogs. 
Uh, greedy sods claim the place is theirs and refuse to let any other bugger bugger near. Oh, there never was more odd, odious lot than Gogs. I could go, could go on forever about this hornless horses, and then then we'd be here forever, and that won't be a, get us nowhere. It boils down to this: if you want the earth seed, you got to deal with the Gogs. Looking you up for the challenge. We have dealt with followers, so I'm sure we can find a way to obtain what we need. That's the spirit. Now, to help you find your way, let's, I'll have one of ours go with you. I'll do it! I'll go with them! I am Karut. I couldn't help overhearing. I hear the eaters have flocked to Mulk Ghoul, but I don't know why to think the last light warden's hiding up there. The fate of Calusa, no, the world hangs in the balance. If I can be of some help, then I want to do my part. Your zeal is commendable, but it isn't so simple. This here's Karut. Young as he is, he's one of the village's finest miners. The lad's got an uneasy sense on where to dig, and his uncanny sense of where to dig, and his aim with pick as a Pickaxe is as true as any dwarf. But put him in the thick of a battle and he couldn't hit the side of a minecart if you're sitting in it. If all you need to do do was dig, he'd be your dwarf. But he's liable to become a sin eater's breakfast before he can even manage to swing. It's true. I'm hopeless in a fight. And I still want to try. Please, please, let me go, let, go with you. Ah, take care of it. You know. I'll take care of you. You take care of the yard. Oh, thank you so much. I'll try try my best not to be a burden. If you want to take a route far, be it for me to stop you. And keep him safe, though, will you? You mean most assured the encounter sending us along the way. Though with you and our company, it'll be more of a spectacle than a concern. Duty calls the dear gar tool. This is that towel, but towel, a tool, tool. Lies in the cave to the east. I'm ready when you are. Amazing, you two are really strong. Yeah, we we're really interested you to know that Eskos is a great hero of the land of its yells. Some would say the greatest. Follow the road. Eddie does, tails to impress and inspire. By all means, have him regale you with one work.
You, I don't know much about fighting, but you two make a great team. Six is, is a team unto himself. I merely follow his lead. Well, looks like you've been doing this for years to me. Oh, is that so? Uh, I should take that as a compliment. Well, the yellow brick road. Mm, did I say something wrong? Not at all. Your words are most heartening, indeed. But you're like a young man again. How long have you two known each other, anyway? Well... Ah! Even more than... Are you just using Cure 1? Are you sure you can use Cure 2? Not far, just past this rise. Here's Vio surrounded. He spies long enough for that limit break to go off. Thank you. Right. It's done. Press on. <laughs> what? Just as just as you were about to get there. One last push, then, shall we? Yes, it goes. Come on, become available to attack.
That was fun. We're alive! We're alive! Let's hurry inside before any more Sin Eaters come. Right, follow me please, it will take you to the the Durgar tool where the, the purest sulfur in the land can be found. Tuckers are Colbids in Georgia. It's a terrain and <coughs> stench when the kitchen, we are at the tool. Ah, there. The gogs in their ugly, unkempt beards. They realize we're here, they'll come after us. Best to take them down first. Um, be not so hasty, Corrit. The animosity between your two clans notwithstanding, I would not resort to violence unless unnecessary. I will use an enchantment to render you invisible. It will not fool sin eaters, but it will suffice to hide you from the eyes of man, men. While you are thus concealed, do you think you could find... Us, the Earth Seed. I, I dig up the choicest stuff there is. We would be much obliged. Until further ado, then. Ah, I can see straight through me. Right, a digging we go. Let us not be idle either. Though Kurt cannot be seen, he may still be heard. I would aid him by removing some few gogs from the field. To that end. Green powder. As you may recall, we used it for the rescue mission at Laxon Loft. We used it in Yomor, too. Truly, it would seem our alchemist got a little carried away with the latest batch. But it is to be useful in our endeavors, and no cause to complain. Now then, I shall make you invisible as well. You may steal close to the dwarves and give them a dose of dream powder. Even should they fail to put them to sleep outright, it would render them drowsy enough to seek their beds. Say the word, and I will cast the enchantment. Ready to begin? Very good. Should the enchantment fade before you finish tending to all the doors, return to me and I can cast you anew. Ugh. I can barely keep my eyes open. Time to call it a day. Oh, I work in no ales makes something as something. I'm just bad.
Blue Drowsy. That's safe to work with Drowsy. Better get some rest. Oh, the dwarves have taken their leave. Good work, my friend. It has been done all. Th we have done all that we can. Let us return. Wait, Kermit's return. I'm back. This is the purest stuff there is. Make it some alpha, or shall I go and dig some more? I dare say it will suffice for our purposes. Purposes. Now, if I can to court, let us carry this back to. Are you all right? Worry not, I, I shall be fine. Long as I have been away from the Crystallium, a little weakness can be expected. I may have also ex overexerted myself in the moment. Ah, to have this rare opportunity yet be unable to enjoy it to the full. Who goes there? Oh, that's Glegg, chief of the Gogs. You, you're one of the Thulls. You see, I see word of your miners being coming down drowsy one after the next. I immediately suspected foul play. And what should I find there but Thull scum skulking about? The spineless act befitting our limp beards. Limp beards. What? I will stand for that insult. Our beards are soft and luscious and smell like freshly tapped ale. Oh, God, beards are dry and crusty and smell like knockers' arse. There's impudent whelp. Better hobgoblin's nose hairs than the feeble floppy things that souls are hanging from their faces. Grrr. Like oil and water, this is not like to end in its own accord. Let's go, do you perchance have some dream powder left? This is beginning to get interesting. <laughs> Worry not, my friend. Something tells me we'll have an ample opportunity later to witness the bickering. Now, however, we should be on our way. What's this way? Forgive me, Critter, but we need you to be calm as well. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just that when it comes to the gogs, I just can't help but see red. You need not apologize, my friend. You are here on our account, and we have not but gratitude for you. Now that we have what we came for, however, it's time to take our leave. The Talos awaits its heart. Well, my friend, much as I have enjoyed our time together, I think it's best we split up as we would accomplish our task more swiftly. I shall see the Ossid safely into the, ch the hands of China's. While I am thus employed, would you be so good to deliver Karut back to Tomra? You can on me. I think so, it goes. Brief though it was, it was an honor to go venturing with you. I shall see you back in Amity. Let's just get back over there.
Um, wait, hold on. Is that the right one? Tabra. It does not give me an Aether Current. That's set to unlock something else. Does it give me an Aether Current? Yeah, it does. Well, scuff my helm. If any of the foreign votes have been hitting about 12, well, well, this best be giving you a proper welcome then. Lally ho. Lally ho. Now, that's what I'd like to see a lally ho straight from the heart. I only wish your own, my own boy would put a bit more effort in his lollies. That's just how this hoes. It's always been busy fiddling with his damn automata. No time for swapping words with folks flesh and blood. Every dwarf knows that a lolly ho gets a lolly ho. Oh, and you're asking to become a male cast. Mother does what she does. And that's only the half of it. I know it's just a stage all lads go through, but the little buggers have to argue with every word I say. Oh, and it just had the most clever idea. It just had the most clever idea. So just listen to me and other religions. Maybe, just maybe, curiosity but for, for a stranger will win out over that sour attitude of this. Worth a try, don't you think? Please befriend my son, run it. Just get him used to be giving a proper greeting, that's all I ask. And I tell you, he's really as a marvel for with the Tomata. If you end up getting along, he might even show you a, bit, a few of his stranger contraptions. Look, we've got a visitor. Why don't you say hello? Oh, where are you then? What, you got something to say to me? Howdy ho. Oh, you know our greeting, huh? Uh, Lolly. Hmm. Oh, Ryan, my lad, you can do better than that. Heads up, eyes front. No need to be shy. I'm not being shy. I'm stoic. Yes, dear, if you say so. Now, Ron, is everything all right? You seem to be looking for something. Oh, no, it's just I, I sort of, I sort of lost my hammer. You what? Of all the uh, irresponsible, careless, foolish. Ronan's hammer has been in the family for generations. It's a priceless heirloom that once belonged to Watts, the blacksmith of legend himself. Well, what are we standing around for, boy? Find that hammer. We will do whatever we can to help. Right. Why don't you have a chat with some villagers for me and ask if they've seen her on its hammer? Just remember your dwarven manners and all will be a well. Is that dwarf? This is, still seems kind of odd. Okay. I'm going to continue that because it is sickable later. Back to the moot. The mot. The mate. Lally ho, glad you're back in one place. How did you fare with this Ursi then? I got them. I got them all they needed. The excerpt's on its way to enmity with it now. Good to hear that young Korut was, uh, was of help. 
as it happens, a few others came forward while you were you had gone saying they wanted to do their bit as well. Given that you're building a talus, they reckon you'll be needing some mining tools, so we went and modified some spare pickaxes for use with Bigger Hulk. Here, take these with you. Should be plenty to go around. From what our scouts saw, there's a crowd gathering at top rung already. Go and see what everybody has to pick up. To swing, eh? Directly to top rung, do not pass go, do not collect $200. Lord Suk, uh, Twine, Yulmore, and Arden Satensis there, uh, doing quats. Look, Eskos, people from all over here have come to help us coin mine. So, and this isn't even all of them. As we speak, the volunteers of Thankrin and Reen, the recruited, have been escorted to the worksite, and by both, both Castarium and Yulmore and soldiers. Look this. So as you can see, we have plenty of hands. It's just one problem. We don't have enough tools to put to them. We're desperately trying to round up more, but we haven't had much luck so far. Pickaxes from the tours? Trust you to have exactly what we need, exactly when we need it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go and hand them out to everyone so they can get to work. Oh, I think I could do it. Oh, I'm ready to my bit there, Scouse. We just uh, need tools to do it. Well, here's, here's some tech axes for you. Pickaxes, loads of them. Now we may, may all work to our heart's content. Arrows. Well, I don't have any t many talents. I do have a strong back. What strength I have, I'll gladly use for the sake of peace. We got the ladder moving, don't we? If we both we join hands, there'll be no talus we can't build. Oh, I still can't read you enough enough for saving me, and I'm not sure I ever could. Well, they ain't got to stop me trying. Hopefully, I'm with you to the end. Come on, you lot. Look lively. You've got my schools. In terms of you are wondering, Guthjohn is here too. Couldn't wait to start breaking rocks, though, so it's gone on the head. Bah! Couldn't have at least left us a spare set of tools. Ah, wonderful. No, we can be be at it too. Quarrying isn't exactly my stock and trade, but this time, this time I feel, feel as my wife will be with me, guiding my hand. So, let's make it happen. Let's build a world where everyone can live without fear, where everyone has a place they can go home to. Right then, let's be on our way. Hmm. What are you doing? Still doing here, Thoth? I thought you had brought your own tools. I did, and it was just about to head off. 
of when I was little Jarek. Oh gods, oh gods, oh gods. This plan works. The great talus comes to life. Just imagine the size of the trolley it could push. Imagine it. Uh, are you still raving on about that? How many times do I have to tell you? That's not what the talus is for. Where the hell's with the tracks even go? They're bound to be somewhere. It's bound to be somewhere. We just need a little imagination. Seeing as the stoics has evolved, maybe if we have a trolley added to the design. Enough! We are going to we are going to work, and if I hear any more about trolleys from you, I will have you pushing one yourself. Mm. Run, run, caregivers from the east side. Long time no see, traveler. You're here to... Long time no see, traveler. You're waiting to be issued to pick check too. Nope, I'm issuing them. Oh, you clearly are worked, and now neither are we. You're rest assured we put these to good use and work very, very hard. I had to remember how, how the uh, kobolds of here. Of course, we cannot work on an empty stomach, which is why I brought some tasty worms to share. Oh. Uh, as much as we would enjoy a tree, perhaps the worms are best safe for afterwards. Greetings, Sessicos. You may not remember me, but when one of the carers from the Inn of Jury said... After a night returned to Amarang, we noticed a change in our patients. The transformation was halted in every one of them. I can't express what it did into the mood of the place. We have still been celebrated days later. Then who should come along but Alize? She said she sought the aid of those who believed in the warrior of darkness. We all answered her call right there, there and then. Of course, some, some carers had to remain, but as many of us came as we could be spared. I too, I too have great respect for the warrior of darkness. When we meet, I will be sure to treat them as a pl nice plump worm. I think so, so goes with that. Everyone is now equipped to work. I think I'll go and join the soldiers standing guard with the volunteers. It would be a shame if they pray, fell prey to sin eaters after all the trouble we've gone to. Right. Let's see us see this plan to a resounding success for the sake of all in Nordvant. Oh. Well, my friend, it appears we are the only ones left here. If you have any pressing task, would you accompany me to Amnity? There, Yishtola is overseeing those who would imbue their talents with magics. Come, let us join them at once. I mean, the night's blessed. I know it kind of says nice bless, but I believe it's pronounced blessed. Like Brian. Like Brian blessed. Not Brian blessed. He's Brian blessed. Runar! Yes, of course. It does me well to see you again. When Master Matoya came, uh, told us of the undertakings, we struggled to comprehend the enormity of it. Nevertheless, we have a complete faith in you and yours. All that is within our power. The night's blessed will do. And as you can see by the presence of their people, Bano is in the same mind. Oh, 
Ah, good of you to join us. I'm pleased to say we are gathering ample help for the imbuing. With Master Chai in the, in, in the process of finalizing his design, I have taken the liberty of dispatching all hands to their positions. You heard along, so, though I have a house in order, but quite frankly, this is the most disorganized mess of a project I've ever seen, and I haven't ne spent nearly as much time as I would like on my calculations. So thou hast proclaimed loudly and frequently, Mr. Chai, yet from my perspective, a layman, layman's though it may be, haste notwithstanding, thou hast gone to great lengths abiding, abiding by proven methodology to ensure the integrity of thy design. I well, it's just the bare minimum that's expected of us at stone at the stonework. So our glory wears are behind us, and not forgotten our time honored traditions. Ah, but I must mean that the exact live the ore I asked for, earth seed, I believe it's called. And that quantity, I believe, could fashion a suitable heart for the talus. But then everything will be in readiness, or so I would like to say. Is there a problem? Ah, and a talus of, well, any reasonable size, single heart would serve to circulate ether through the chassis. But given the unprecedented proportions of which we seek to build, I doubt that will be the case. By installing smaller peripheral hearts at intervals, I believe we can maintain a stable ether flow, thereby solving the problem. However, we don't have enough ore for this purpose. Not for it, but to procure more, I suppose. Muna, may happen now is the good time to bring them out. A moment, my friends. There is something I would show you. I say, are these not heart stones? They are the most prized possession of we of the Knights Blessed. These belongs to our kindred who have left us. Immersed in a water imbued with fervent prayer, these stones harbour no small amount of magic, and we may imbue them with yet yet more prior to the installation on the Talos. But thank you. And being given a different region, these cannot be used as the main heart. The peripheral ones, on the other hand, I I believe they will serve. Excellent. The Master Mapotoya spoke to us of the role we were to play. Heart stones immediately came to mind. Of course, before bringing them with me, I made certain to consult my fellows first. After all, the stones bear the precious lives of those who have gone to the Sunless Sea. But we have now beheld the Sunless Sea with our very own eyes. By the gentle lights that glimmer on high, we know there is peace beyond. Thus, we also, thus are we also at peace. If our heart stones may serve to restore night to all the world, gladly do we give them. Master Chai, if you would instruct us how to distribute the heart stones. And Essa goes, well, good luck. May I ask that you imbue one as well? Let's just show that it's not difficult. Simply raise your hand and focus as you would attuning to an aetherite. Imbue the jade color stone here, if you would be so kind. A familiar looking heart stone appears to glow faintly. That'll do. Thank you, Vesicos. If this heart stone looks familiar, it's because it belongs to Tadia. It bears the collective hope of the Knights Blessed, the hope that none shall ever again be sacrificed to Sidnitas. Right, I've identified the spots on the talus where the stones are needed. See that they're amply imbued and install them as you indicated in the, that I've indicated on this diagram. Understood. We will set 
we are, will set about the task at once. When the Talus awakens that the way to Mount Gugu is secured, we shall sally forth. It promises to be a t trying climb, so take what rest you can in the meantime. We will see you and see you soon. A moment, Oriange. You said that you would have measures ready in the event that our friend fails to contain the light, do you? Be assured that I do. All, all which I require lieth in this land. Don't worry, I'll be fine. So do we all hope, my friend. To that end, thou shouldst take such ease as thou mayest. Better to ready thyself for the trials to come. I'm told the rock, the chassis is much is more or less ready, all coordinated and shaped and laid out. That just leaves the imbuers to do their work. Look, I'll continue checking my calculations up until the very last moment, but it's only a matter of time now. We managed to rally nigh everyone in Northrend for this endeavor. It's a remarkable feat in itself, but would it be enough? You betcha. Ah, there's no point worrying about such things now. I'll get back to my calculations. You, meantime, should go and rest as your friend suggests. My wife and the ex should be in the tavern. Why don't you join them? Oh, and Eskos. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, where's the Exarch? The Exarch? Oh, he went outside a moment ago, dear. I wouldn't have thought you'd have seen him. He kept me company for a short while, but then he came over rather pale. And clearly he's been streaming himself, the poor thing. Anyway, he excused myself, say, himself, saying that he needed a breath of fresh air. Weak as he looked, I did offer to go with him, but he assured me that he would be fine. I do hope he's all right. Ah, here's the other one. I'll do those at the time. I'm about to end my shift. About 10 minutes. So I'm going to focus on the MSQ. Oh. Uh, Clark, where'd you go? We start to be your being. Exarch does not appear anywhere in the vicinity. There is only the shoe belt gazing unflinchingly southward. I don't mean to do that. Uh, Exarch, you do not look so good. Is voice acting. I needed some fresh air and thought to rest for a moment. 
It would seem I am more fatigued than I realized. Too much time away from the tower, I fear. It drains me, leaves my body frail and weak. Though, in truth, it is debatable whether I can still call this my body. When first I turned my mind towards the salvation of the world, I came to the conclusion that it would take many long years, many more than remain to me. And so I made myself one with the Crystal Tower, that I might live indefinitely. I am but an extension of it now, hence my weakness the farther I travel and the longer I am away. It has been quite a journey. But thanks to you, the end is in sight. My wish will finally be fulfilled. How goes the construction effort? Then this may be the last moment we have to ourselves for a while. Come, sit with me. Tell me, when all of this is over, what will you do? Battle matter for the Empire, I suppose. Ah, yes. Even should we succeed in forestalling the Eighth Umbral Calamity, the Spectre of War will remain. But to declare your intent with such easy resolve, you truly are a hero's hero, my friend. But whatever it is you decide to do, I have every confidence that you will do well. For you have the strength to forge your own path. You will leave countless lives better than you found them, and the souls you touch will never forget your kindness. Then, in trying times, when you question your worth and your choices, they will raise their voices to remind you of the difference you have made. And thus will your deeds come to affirm your path. Remember this. I don't know more of you. Of me? You mean what I intend to do afterwards? Oh, until you are. I once told you that there are things we can ill afford to lose. Things, I said. Though in truth, I spoke of a person. One who is unaware of the full extent of my plans. Though he deserves to know, I have good reason to keep my counsel. I have come to terms with this in my mind, yet my heart yearns to lay everything bare. For he is my inspiration, and I would give much and more for the chance to speak with him as friends, with no thought of concealment. Should he indulge me with his tales, I would regale him with my own about my efforts in Norfran, perhaps. Though, ultimately, that tale is more yours than it is mine. Then, I would ask him about his next adventure. And if he should wish me to be a part of it, oh, how happy it would make me. Together we would travel the lands and cross the seas and take to the skies upon the eternal wind. My heart swells simply to imagine it. But all of this is contingent upon our victory in the coming battle. The people of this world have entrusted their hopes to us. We cannot fail them. Nor those who roused me from my slumber. 
thank you for your company, my friend. Let us return to Amity. Done through the voice or voice acting. I don't know if it's referred to as VO or is it just VA for voice acting? Okay, now we can see what a goblin looks like under their hood. I mean, not my friend. I have much revived from the fresh air and your fine company, of course. Now, let us turn our thoughts back to the task at hand. More voice acting? Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace in the Solos, turn it up just in case. Nope. Bring it down. Because I do not like the same of Garlemald. Your Radiance, I have taken the liberty of vanquishing the vile rumors that your heir is possessed by a devil. With the nation in the grip of war, you may rely on patriotic zeal to prevent them from resurfacing. And what of the silk? He has taken himself to the first to show that world to its end. So, do I believe? He did not disclose the details of his missions, having ever preferred to work alone. Even to those who have, been, who have known him since the beginning, his actions have proved unpredictable. I am no stranger to his ways. His joys is playing me for a fool. For many times have I convinced that I was acting in my own volition, only to discover all. As he will. Dear grandfather. On the subject of our esteemed colleague, his last report, the brief, did contain one item of interest. You have no doubt lately wondered why the signs of the seventh dawn have not taken the field of late. It's because there is no longer in the source. A hero of the signs has journeyed to the first as have his comrades, albeit, uh, albeit incompletely. Their bodies yet remain here in the source. This presents an opportunity. If we can defeat the Alliance prior to the science return, we can eliminate their order at a stroke. And with the science gone, none shall remain to thwart our plans. It will be but a matter of striking down the hero upon his homecoming. Which, lest you forget, is essential to the realization of our objective. Of both of our objectives. Though Heidelin's blessed meddling, a champion threatens to wrest the reins of the a fate from our grasp. The world is at risk of being dragged down the false path. One which will never see man reclaim his true form. It is unthinkable that he would supplant us, complete as he is. Such an 
devolution is abhorrent, and it must be stopped before it's too late. The hour has come, your radiance. Order your armies to march once more. Crush all who stand in your way. This is your heart's desire, is it not? To seize a victory that is yours and yours alone with the future of Garlebald. Oh dear. You do not wear the mummers motley well. I was never one to take interest in tedious conflicts. The whereabouts of my one true friend, however, they interest me greatly. But I hope the beasts of this first have provided him proper sport. I would know every detail, Lord Xenos. Or would you rather I called you Lydipus? Hmm, <sighs> unsuspected, most unsuspected. The immortality should be within the reach of one with a borrowed echoed. You have outdone yourself, Xenos, yea, Galvis. I have no particular attachment to that name. I am fond of that body. Without it, I cannot enjoy my hunt to the fullest. Your secrets or my flesh. I care not which you give me first. The choice is yours. And with that, we'll leave it on a cliffhanger. What's been going on in the source? Xenos has been that thing for a while. And finally, Ray uh, got to the throne room. Here we are, ready to activate a talus to uh, pull down Mount Gulg, or at least attach it to the ground so we could climb up it. And... Um, Yeah, an Aether Current that's about to be be done. So this is right before we do our assault on Makuok. And we will leave it here for now. So we'll see you next time, next weekend. Hopefully what will, will happen here is I will at least try to get all of my jobs to 79. That's from 75 to at least 79, if not, not the full 80. Uh, because I should have enough dungeons to get to um, 79 at least. I'm going to wrap it up with Mount, with the uh, Mount Gold and everything. But um, then uh, we'll find a good point where we can just do the roll quest. Finish up the roll quest. Uh, might have to get them all to 80 then finish up the roll quest. It is important that we finish up the roll quest before a different section here. Trust me. But uh, I'll just leave it here. So thank you for thank you for watching. Cubsoutloud.com, Cubsoutloud at youtube.com slash Cubsoutloud. Uh, find us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter and uh, YouTube. Dazzle.com slash Cubsoutloud. Get your Cubsoutloud merchandise mug, maybe. And uh, see you back here later for Bears and Dragons. Yeah.
Here's the dragons. A couple hours. Uh, seven hour and eight, hour and forty five minutes or so. Seven eight o'clock, depending on making sure we got all our shit, shit together. Bye.